Look at that image, you can't tell what it is, interesting. It looks like we're good to go. Testing, testing, one, two, three, microphone, high on, stream. I think we're okay. Good morning, gang, good evening, wherever you are. Get right to it, I gotta get this thing done. Where am I? This is Camellia oil, we talked about this yesterday, rubbing it on, just to make the paper a bit more transparent. So what do we got this morning? Usual crowd? Somebody received a print, thank you! <laughs> Way wave print, yes, it's going to be a while, it's going to be a while, I'm sorry, you know, waiting list is now getting very long. It's frustrating for us to have so many waiting lists for these prints, but uh, we just don't have the printers to do all the jobs we have waiting here now.
Is Dave having a grumpy morning? No, I'm getting work. <laughs> Going to work. <laughs> Nothing grumpy. No, 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 no. Sorry. Just working. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning. If I forgot to put the proper ice hats in here, <laughs> is Dave grumpy? It's it's called working. We're busy, you know. I was up late, late, late last night again. Actually, I got a few photographs here from downstairs. He he he. Not something spectacular. There's the work is going down there really, really, very slowly these days, and. Uh, a lot of stuff we're doing just is not doesn't doesn't show some wonderful photographs. Look at here's one room finished, there's another room finished, stuff like that. We don't have that kind of photograph for you. It's just step by step, piece by piece, very very slowly getting this together. I've got a few photos today that show uh, Aoyama and I. We've been working in the back room, the room that's going to become the party room, and it's a big big job structurally. We're putting in a new floor and we're putting in a new ceiling and all four walls have to be totally covered so it's really a huge job and only when the room is built then we'll start putting the stuff inside it the party room the shoji screens and things like that the bench and the shoji screen and i tell you how big the job is is that for example uh, in the old days when somebody first moved an air conditioner in here at that time there was still a building behind here that was flat against the back of this building you know the buildings used to be really stuck right back to each other you know sticking to each other and there was no room for an air conditioner out in the alley behind it so to put the air conditioner into this build into this building they built they built into the room from outside i'm not sure how to describe this they built a box against the wall that was open to the outside so it was like having a cupboard or a cabinet in your room but it didn't open into the room it opened outside the air conditioner was in there in recent years, different air conditioners were built in smaller units and the building outside was moved and stuff like that. So for us now, we can actually get rid of that box. We can put the air conditioner unit out in the alley properly and we get rid of that box. So Aoyama Sun destroyed the box and my job yesterday was to fill the hole in the wall. And it was a giant hole in the wall. And we're talking about one meter wide and, and two feet high or something, one meter, two feet high. That was my job yesterday, replacing the wall. And the original was concrete cinder blocks. I just framed it. I got some two by sixes and insulation and gyp rock and just framed it. So it's not really interesting work, you know, bit by bit. Then while I'm doing this, he's been starting to frame the ceiling of the party room. And we're gonna hang a new ceiling under the old hanging ceiling. I'll, whatever, I'll talk about it when I get the pictures ready. So. So maybe we'll wait after Cameron gets here this morning. We'll show these pictures and see what's going on. Then while doing that, I'm still mucking around with the toilet, trying to get the... The room is all plastered and painted on. That's okay. You know. But the, the hole in the floor is designed for old, the old toilets, the old squat toilets. And we're bringing in, you know, modern toilets. So you need an adapter unit on the floor to take the, the outflow from the modern toilet and put it into the correct place, the correct location to go down on the floor that matches the old squat toilets. So you buy an adapter. You've got an adapter thing that fits on the floor that moves the hole from location A to location B. You know? And you got to get it right because if you don't get it right, you know, it's just not going to work. So. So they give you a kit. It's a little kit with a piece of paper and line up here and line up there and match part A to part B. And it's like building a, a model airplane when I was a kid and follow the instructions. So we got a few photographs of that stuff. You know. But nothing dramatic, I'm sorry. No, no, nearly finished chop any day now. It's not like that. We're still at a very raw stage of construction. We're getting like the infrastructure ready. The inside that, we'll then build the shop.
The mobile scaffold, you know, no, I know we, we tried to book it and we, 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 we didn't understand that uh, you have to book it weeks and weeks and weeks in advance. In fact, we're in trouble with this because the earliest date they gave us was April 15th, a month down the road. This is crazy. I know we hadn't remembered or realized that this is moving season in Japan. The way Japan works is everybody changes their jobs or they graduate from school or they start school. Everything happens in March and April. When you go to school, when you start the school year, it's March, it's April the 1st. When you leave, you graduate, it's the end, end of March. And school starts in April and finishes in March. So people move always at the end of March, beginning of April. And it's like something astonishing number. 90% of all the moves, the house moves and whatever that take place in Japan over the course of a year happen at the end of March, beginning of April. So every truck rental company, every moving company, every office renovation company, everything, anything to do with people changing jobs and or moving happens at the end of March and the beginning of April. So we're trying to just rent a scaffold and rent a truck to get it over here. And both of those things we should have booked months in advance. We just didn't, didn't, we knew these facts, but we didn't put one and one together to make two. So we phoned the guy, you know, last week when I was chatting with you about this, Cameron phoned him up to make a reservation and the guy basically fell on the floor laughing, you want it when? Ha ha ha. So we couldn't get it last Tuesday. So we've booked it for something in the middle of April and Cameron is playing the squeaky wheel. He's, he's been phoning them every day, you know, can we maybe get this going today? Can we get this going tomorrow? What can we do about this? You know, we don't like being obnoxious people, but we're trying to be a little bit squeaky here to try and get this thing. So no, the front of the shop hasn't been renovated yet. We haven't got our scaffold yet. And the rats can survive for another day. Like this where a white line turns into a black line, turns back into a white line. This is fun. Thanks, John.
I think it's going to be curious today on uh, any TV reaction. Uh, over the years, we've been on, you know, Japanese TV here any number of times, and usually on any given day, or for the few days after we've been on TV, there's more people around. You know, the, the telephone rings more, the web access gets more. There's more people in the shop. You know, we're on different, usually on variety programs or something like that, or introducing places in Asakusa or something like that. But last night's TV was different. We were on, a, on NHK educational TV and 50 minutes. And what they had done was they must have bought the rights, the broadcast rights to the movie, you know, the Art of the Game movie that was made about the Heroes Project a few years ago. You know, the one that's on Netflix here in Japan, it's on iTunes and stuff like that. It was broadcast here in Japan yesterday, for a 50 minute edited version, it seems. It says the program was 50 minutes long. And the real movie is 90 minutes, so there must be an edited version out there. But the funny thing is, it was broadcast last night, not on the general channel, but on the education channel, at a starting time of 1.50 in the morning, just before 2 o'clock. 10 minutes before 2 was the start of the broadcast time for a 50-minute program. <coughs> so it ran like from 2 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the morning on the education channel. And we're like, what? So Jed and I, when we heard about this a, a few days ago, we, we saw the TV schedule. Somebody told us about the TV schedule. We wrote to the producer of the program, you know, like, what's going on? And he denied that it was going to be broadcast. He said, no, no, it's a, it's a bug or something in NHK, NHK's schedule. It won't be on. It won't be on. It can't be on. You know, it's a bug. And we're like shaking our heads. What is this guy doing, you know? NHK doesn't make bugs with their with their published program schedules. You know, this is a giant global broadcast corporation you know and yeah it broadcast lights now they've already in the email this morning i've already sent people who saw it you know one of our printers on a yamoto come the guy who printed the edition of the print that you see in the in the in the video he saw it last night he must have stayed up to watch it after seeing the listings or something he said wow fantastic fabulous i want to do some more copies of that print can we do this you know whatever so it did go out but the producer still denies it you know he wrote to Jed last night while it was broadcasting, you know. He said, no, no, it's a mistake of some kind, a mistake of some kind. So we have no idea what the mystery is here. When it first came up that he was going to try and sell it to NHK, he was concerned about the problem of rights, you know, as in, as in 
copyright, Nintendo, stuff like that, you know. We don't have any concern about that at all. We're clearly doing what we, you know, what we think are parodies and fair use, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, maybe he's afraid of waking up Nintendo or something, so that's why he arranged to have it done at two o'clock in the morning rather than any sensible time. We don't know. We just don't know the backstory. But now I'm going to be curious. It was broadcast last night, a 50-minute movie about my work, broadcast nationally in Japan. Is there going to be any result? Are we going to get increased traffic or phone calls or, or orders or whatever? We don't know. Just have to sit and wait and see. Two o'clock in the morning. I've still only ever seen that thing once myself. I saw it at the film festival in Toronto. I was flo I flew over there for the premiere. So I saw it once at the film festival. I've never seen it since then, and they won't give me a copy. <laughs> I don't have access to it Netflix here in Japan, so I'll get a chance to see it again someday, I guess I'm sure. These lines are so much fun to cut, you know, so nice. I'm glad I kept this block for myself instead of giving it to one of our other carvers. Has Dave got a haircut? No, not yet.
over here then. Questions, questions. For the color blocks, does Dave carve inside or outside the block outlines? Depends on the color, depends on the picture, depends on what's going on. When the transfers are made here, and I'm working on the color zones, we will carve in the center of any given line. You know, when the, like the color block will actually overlap the black lines. And how much it overlaps depends on what kind of color it is. You know, when the one side, A side and B side are strong in weak colors, you know. A weak color can extend farther because it's safer. How many impressions are there in this print? I haven't decided yet. I think it's going to be, we're going to use probably three pieces of wood both sides. So this is going to be one face. Then there will be two, three, four, five. Six. There will be five more sides. But because there's two images on this block, there'll be places where we probably use a blue at the top and a gray at the bottom and something like this. So I don't know how many colors it's going to be. No idea. Any tips on how to get perfect straight lines? Yes. Yes, there's two ways. One is use a ruler. Guys do that. People use a ruler sometimes. I don't, but whatever. Here, get a knife specially cut for straight lines. Actually, two things. If you think about this, can, can we see this? The knife has got quite a, an angle here. And if we're trying to go around corners, we can go around corners because the knife is a sharp angle and there's very little knife in the wood. So you can go around corners easily with something like this. But if you want to carve a straight line, you don't want to do it like this because very little knife is in the wood. You, you'll see me in a minute when I'm carving the straight line. You lay your knife down to this sort of angle. So more blade is in the wood. So as you're moving along carving a straight line, there's more blade in. If you carve it like this, it's really difficult to stay on the line because the thing can wibble wobble easily. So step one is to simply keep the blade as low at an angle as you can and it tends to stay on the line instead of diverging. And sometimes people use this kind of knife instead of an actual triangular tip, a blade like this. And this is used with a ruler. You'd put a ruler down. When I was doing the port series, I used to use this all the time. There's a spare piece of wood here. Whatever. You put a ruler down and you run this against the ruler like this and it's very flat there's no tip on it so it just runs straight along the edge as far as a ruler goes there's a sort of a basic rule if you use it too much then the prints become mechanical you know you think about a typical japanese ukiyo-e print it really doesn't have many straight lines in it and if you use it too much it's mechanical so the rule was maybe for a building or something that's architectural you'd use a ruler but for straight lines within an image, like the straight line of this dipper and stuff like this, you'd never use a ruler because it would just become too straight and mechanical. So here the ruler would go for the border, but you'd never use a ruler for any of the items inside this workbench, even though they're technically straight. Where was I? I'm lost now. Here we are. Right down in this corner. So on a straight lines like this, you'd never, ever, ever use a ruler. And you can see what I'm doing, actually. I, instead of standing the knife up like this, I'm laying it down. So more of the wood is, more of the blade is in the wood at any given time.
big triangles. It's all about triangles.
Have we got all the lines? I think that might be all the lines. Looks good. Very nice. Very fun piece. Beautiful curves. Especially this stuff. John's put the flare on this on this ladle here. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the outside. Someone's asking, do we strop the blade after sharpening? No, we just use our three stones, a strong stone, a medium stone, and a fine, delicate stone. There's no stropping in the Japanese tradition. So, oops. They talk about stropping on an oil stone to take off the burr at the back, and we, we do it both sides. We, sh we put the front surface on the stone and the back surface on the stone, so there's no specific <coughs> stropping. We have no leather strops here. Mm, the computer out in the shop has woken up, so I might be interfering with the Wi-Fi. I don't know. Let's see. No, it seems okay. We're talking about straight lines we are. So I'm keeping the knife at a low angle. Keep lots of wood. Keep lots of blade in the wood. Like this one, cutting across the grain, it's fairly easy to keep the straight line. But when we turn the corner now, we go with the grain, this is more difficult because the knife wants to follow grain patterns, especially in the hardwood. Feel it jump ahead, ka chunk, ka chunk, as it crosses those grain lines. It's very difficult to control it on this, this on this kind of grain. Yeah, persuader's coming up. Let me cut these lines first, and we'll, in a few minutes we'll meet our friend the persuader to clear out the outside here. So. Let me get these cut first. It's going to get noisy in a few minutes here.
Okay, it's gonna be time to make some noise. Cuts are done only once. If someone doesn't have the experience, can they do two cuts? Ah, oh, you mean come back on the same cut to make it deeper? Yeah, it's you generally try and avoid it because you can almost never get the same angle. You end up with a little bit of split wood in the middle. But if at all possible, one cut. But yeah, sometimes two, whatever. Okay, here we are. I don't know, I've got a small problem here. I can't find my... Uh, there's a hole in the bench here. Eh? A bench dog goes in here. I put the wood against the bench dog and bang. But I can't find my bench dog. And I know what's happened. It looks like a piece of broken wood. And somebody was cleaning up here and they've thrown it away. So what am I going to do here? i got to go find some new one. Okay. I'll go upstairs. Just a minute. I'm going to grab a piece of scrap wood here. Get out of this thing. Back in a minute, I gotta get a find a bench dog. Right, now, number one, be careful. If I'm careless here, I'll cut the kento marks off. So let's find a pencil here. Here we are. Where are the registration marks? Here, in this corner, there's a registration mark here. So be careful, Dave. And there's one here. Don't cut them off. Been there, done that. Okay. So maybe we take off this light, I think. I'm not sure what it is. Is it going to... Is it going to... Should I? Yeah, okay. Okay, the microphone is up there. Maybe I should move it a bit farther out of the way here. Put the mic up a bit out of the way. Oh, you're asking about the Kento marks. Don't see any kento marks. Yeah, they're here. On all one in the corner. Oh no, you can't see it because the the you know, paper stuck on them still. Hang on. Whatever the paper stuck into them, so it's not so visible. There's one here in this corner. And one here. For the pair, of course. Okay. Are we out of focus? Change my glasses now.
We're banging the camera. I should have. I forgot about that. We've got to get the camera off the table. Eh? Is that better?
I think I hear a key in the lock downstairs. I think there might be camera coming in, is it? We'll see in a minute. Right, let's see. Just the right time, finish the banging here. Perfect timing. Camera sound, perfect timing. Oh good, glad to have perfect timing. I've been making noise here, and there's no way we could talk if I'm making noise, I'm just finishing up. Coming along well. Yeah, that's looking nice. What's this? Shirt sleeves. It's beautiful today. Really? I haven't been outside. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Really? Yeah. I, if I wore a jacket, I would come in here already. Thank you. Really? <laughs> Sweating. Hey. And I don't know, maybe you've already seen it, but another shop's been tagged with uh, the graffiti. The same, the same, same mark. One? This is good because it means the police are really going right, to find so this. Here's, this yeah, is the yeah, one from yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's new one. That's the same backward five Just ALM at the top. Yeah, that, that was the same night. Oh, that was the same night. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This Go is back. only two or three buildings over it is, this it direction. It is, it is, it is. Yeah. yeah, it was the same night. Oh, okay. So I just the did, same I night. haven't and seen the shutters down yet. He must have come down yet. the street from Donkey, from the Donkey direction. Oh, that was okay. on his left, and then the next one was on his left. Okay. So he came down on that side. Bummer. And it's the same band or yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, it's the exact yeah, same yeah, yeah, yeah. insignia. I don't know. Yeah, so it's not new. It's the oh, same. But I just haven't seen that shutter down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Sure, grab the machine, whatever. Okay. I, I can't cool. see anything, I don't know. I guess there's been chat, I don't know, I'm sorry. But, uh, it's all right, good morning. <laughs> what graffiti, those troublemakers? Yeah, a few days ago, right? Or was it last week? It must so, be a week or so now, I yeah. guess, yeah. So. We've, uh, someone graffitied a couple of shops then, I didn't realize, I thought it was just yeah. the one, but. No. It may be more, that's all I know. I yeah. know there's two on this block. Two. They, two may, they may be more uh, all through the district. I don't yeah. Know. Hello. Bullet Tooth Tony, that is a great name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullet Tooth Tony, that's one of these usernames. Oh, so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, uh, they tagged those beautifully painted shutters. No, these ones were just plain gray ones. Yeah, so yeah. somebody with some sense of public responsibility, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> is that what that is? I don't know, no idea, no idea. Just, they're not zero. Not know. completely yeah. unreasonable. Yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all. This way. This one, the backward five on there. And then there's another shop with the same mark. I guess it's a band, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. <clears throat> but the police are on it, and uh, they will obviously, if it is a band, they will chase up the, you know, it will be searchable, findable, yeah. you know. Yep, yep. I hope they nail the guys to the fucking wall. Sorry, excuse me, but I got no no time for that. Sorry. Yeah. No time for that at all. Yeah, that's just vandalism doesn't make sense. Mm. So how's the morning been so far? It's good, very quite lots of work down here. The John's block, it's been really nice to carve, you know. Okay. Like all the curves nice. There's these places where the lines have gone, you know, they go positive, negative, positive, negative. It's been real fun oh, to yeah. carve, you know. So cool. And I did prepare a few photographs in the file here from downstairs. Oh, okay, great. There's nothing really dramatic or interesting, you know, picture yeah. of a toilet, you know, yeah. or a picture of that, that hole in the wall, you know. Great. But they are there. I've got, they're in there, okay. if you want it, when you get a minute. There's about 12 of them or so. Okay. Dozen. Are security cameras prevalent there? Well, she's put one up now. Yep, she's put one up now, but... They are. There's cameras everywhere, of course. Yeah. You know, Not so much in the street cameras, like general... You know, police watching us cameras, no, but I don't know, shops have cameras yeah. and any individual shopping center or people looking at their own parking lot or stuff like this. Yeah. This street doesn't have them. Mm. I shouldn't, should I say this? Rock <laughs> Dori doesn't have them yet, but the next street, Dempo in Dori, oh, okay. they had some, I don't know, vandalism some years back and there's a full set of cameras now down the whole wow. street. So. Huh. And I guess if this continues, then we, the Merchants Association of this street, will do the thing. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put the cameras up and yeah. tape everything. You know. <laughs> Which 
short sleeves. It's snowing here. Where are you, Mr. Anti-Gravity Cat? <laughs> Where is it snowing? I think Washington or New York or somewhere. Yeah.